Hello, you developers. Welcome back to the Doing It Yes channel. Today, as promised, we are going to integrate the admin LTE Bootstrap theme. So, the first thing you have to do is go download it. Uh, I have already done that and I have it in my local computer. So, if I go into sorry, if I go into localhost and themes admin LTE, you will see this which is a local installation I just downloaded the files and unzipped into my document root uh, so this is what we are going to create and we are going to change this into this so I hope you guys you have watched I hope everyone has watched the last two lessons that we have uh, we have uh, learned the layout files and the asset files so basically we are going to change a lot in the asset files and in the layout files in order to get our application to look like this. So let's go get into our sublime text and change uh, our app asset file. For, uh, right now we have gone in and we have the site.cs and the main.js file that we have added. And of course the jQuery files and the bootstrap files are getting uh, uh, integrated to the application through this so we have to change all that because this uh, our admin LT has used a lot of JavaScript files and a lot of CS files which we have to use so let's open up uh, the admin LTE uh, index.html file so admin LTE index.html file and open it up as you can see there are a bunch of links that uh, they have added so we have to add those to our application as well so let's do that on on I'll do a couple of them for now and uh, I have already created the asset files for this I will do one uh, CSS file and one JS file just to make sure that you got it, get it right so the first is the bootstrap css bootstrap main.cs which is a file that they have integrated for it. So let's do that. Let's all have our all file, CSS files in the CSS directory and this is going to be the bootstrap.min.css. So that is there but still we don't have that CSS file. So there is no bootstrap.css file. So what we have to do is um, we should uh, copy those files and add it to our application. Uh, so go to themes and te and we have the bootstrap css and bootstrap min.cs. So we copy that and we paste it to our backend web css. So that is linked already. So like that do that for all of the above so there's another thing that i should mention to you uh, this is very specific for the dashboard like you see uh, i hope you, you can as you can see the calendars all of those the graphs uh, all of that are in the main dashboard file so i think you should create uh, an extra two asset files actually three because the login page is also different uh, in this one so we have already created a login asset uh, login asset file where is it login asset file but we would want a main uh, main app asset file we will keep that for this and we have to create another asset file for uh, our dashboard so let's create that um, new file let's save it as dashboard dot asset dot php so it's basic the same thing let's copy this and paste okay now use this file and copy all the css files that are here don't forget to put them in our, into your directory as well the css directory and link them up so if we have successfully linked uh, so if i refresh 
and if I go and check inspect element there is nothing I mean I have gotten all the files it shows here if you haven't if the if you haven't clicked it uh, linked it properly you will get an error here uh, so again you can check here as well that we have put the bootstrap in the CSS file so actually we don't necessarily need that but uh, you can have it anyway uh, we'll see so that's one CSS file I'll do the next a JS file next so if you scroll down a lot you will see a JS file so there's a jQuery file which we don't want because this asset file will get that JS file for us uh, we will have a jQuery UI this we need so let's me copy that it's a CDN so let me copy that and put it into a dashboard dot asset dot PSG file so let's put that okay I don't need to copy any files to this one because this comes from the internet um, so that's I mean you have to do that for all of the other uh, jQuery and JavaScript files uh, I have already done that before so in the next lesson I'll show you what uh, after how the asset file looks after adding all these style sheets and all the um, js files so see you next time uh, stay tuned and do subscribe have fun guys and take care bye